Hey, before this video starts, I just want to mention, if you want to commission me for a video posted here on YouTube, come over to when I stream either here on YouTube or on Twitch at Retro Mario Twitch. But, let me not take up your time, enjoy the video. Excuse me. Do you have a moment to have a conversation? Oh, come on. It's not going to be that long of a conversation. Ten minutes, tops. I'll keep you for ten minutes, and then I will let you go. How does that sound? I just need somebody to talk to, that's all. Perfect. Well, first, I should probably ask your name. So, what's your name? Oh, nice. My name's Jeff. It's a pleasure to meet you. Mm-hmm. Say, what has been one of your Biggest dreams in the world. Oh, really, really. Fascinating, really. I find that quite interesting. Oh, me? Well, <laughs> I'm glad you asked. You see... Um, not to go into... a uh, boring backstory or anything like that. But growing up a little bit, um, you could say I wasn't part of a healthy family. And I had to grow up um, very fast when I was just a young boy. Oh, yeah, you could say it was really rough, especially for my parents. But I digress. There's a lot of things in this world that could drive someone to um, not having a good relationship with their parents, their ideals, their work, what they do, who they do. <laughs> Oh, uh, what did I do? Well, um, I was a bit problematic as a child. And when it came down to it, I was put into a psychiatric care facility. N yeah, they put me, my parents, they put me inside of a psych ward. They thought I was, uh... Insane for some of the things I've done. But in reality, they just wanted me out of their hair. Because they didn't really like me. I don't know why they didn't like me. I guess they weren't just ready to be parents. And so, shortly after, I was out of the uh, psych ward for... You know, monthly visits at my parents' place. It was, uh... If I can remember correctly, um... It was quite a dark night. I think it was raining. Because I remember loud thuds outside, so... I think it was raining. And I was home, and I was just hanging out in the living room of my parents' home. And I would l slightly look over to where the kitchen was, right? And I uh, saw my, my father. He was down in booze, 
taking shot after shot after shot of some hard whiskey. My dad was a bit of a drunk. And my mom, well, we're not going to get into her story. So, long story short, my dad was quite a abusive parent. And um, he would tell me I looked too sad all the time and uh, how I should pick myself up more, make myself more presentable, all sorts of things, right? A good parent he was trying to be, but he didn't realize the type of things that I was going through at the time, and that made me just quite quite, quite angry at this man. So, late at night, I went to go, and I, um, went to go downstairs. Little did I know that I wasn't the only one getting abused. My father was an asshole. And he did such things with me and a lot of other people. So, I took it out of my own uh, liberty. And I took one of the knives out of the kitchen. And I wasn't really feeling that good that day. I was quite uh, angry with myself. And how I just wasn't fitting in anywhere. Making me feel like I was just an outcast. Making me feel like I was different. And I thought back to myself about how my father told me I needed to look happier. So, I went into my bathroom after getting the kitchen knife. And I cut shake cheek from my mouth and now I have a permanent smile a smile that will never go away and that was all thanks to my father shortly after I got my permanent smile on my face I went straight to my parents and I said look mom Dad, I'm smiling. <laughs> Do you like me now? I'm happy. <laughs> but they didn't look happy with me. They didn't look happy at all. They were terrified. They were terrified looking at their own son who wanted to better himself. They locked themselves in their own bedroom. And me, I was just trying to be happy for them. And you know what I heard out of their bedroom door when I was standing in front of it? Well, do you? I overheard my mom told my stepdad to grab a gun and kill me. Do you know how I felt when I heard this? It drove me to a point of no return. It made me really, really think about the people that you can trust in this world. I've trusted a few people before. But this was the ultimate crossing. And before they could do anything else, I kicked down that door. <laughs> <laughs> and I gutted both of them like a pigs they are. 
But flashback to the present day. I am now a much older man, and I have free liberties, and I can actually have proper thinking of what I want to do. So, if you could just not move, don't blink, don't breathe, because I'm here to put you back to sleep. Ha, 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 ha.